Good morning, guys. So, uh, yes, after I have uh, installed my GD Sport S2, and it has been two weeks, and uh, I have uh, driven it for close to 300 km, and I think it's good enough for breaking in. So, guess what? Today, guess where I am now? Yes. For all the car enthusiasts, of course, you are familiar with this place. So today, um, I'm uh, bringing, um, I'm bringing the GD Sport S2 for uh, Genting Drive. So today is not a, a TT or a car meet, but just uh, my solo drive, so that I can uh, concentrate on feeling how the tire is performing. And uh, yes, let's uh, see about it and have fun. Okay, guys. So uh, uh, I've driven the tires for close to 300 km, and now it's time to put it for a test. So let's begin. Setting it back to sport mode. Sport mode. Right, let's go. So during my braking in period, the tires has been nice, uh, very good uh, noise control. It's a very good, uh, very quiet tires, and uh, and it's comfortable too. I'm not sure whether it's because of the compound technology because I believe most of the ultra high performance tires are not supposed to be that quiet in fact it is more quiet and comfortable than my uh, Continental uh, MC6 it's not as harsh as it as my MC6 that is uh, very surprisingly that's very, uh, that's very surprising
screeching at all. No screeching. Super heavy traffic. I guess uh, talk to you guys when I stop at Chinsui's temple. A few moments later. Hey guys, so now we are at the beautiful Chin Sui Temple And I just want to say just tell, I just want to tell you guys that uh, I never had so much fun driving up Genting And this is not something like I want to exaggerate The tires, the GD Sport S2 So, just don't mind my uh, ugly, dirty cars because I have not been uh, washing it for two weeks. But okay, back to the tires. These tires are just amazing. Super grip. And uh, I never have problem like losing uh, grip or screeching. You don't even hear a single screech while I climb the Genting Hill at all and uh, it sticks, it really sticks in spite of the uh, partly wet road condition in spite of my partly wet road condition it is still so grippy and uh, it really gives you the confidence to tackle every corner at a higher speed and this is something that I never felt when I was driving on my MC6 This is something that I never felt Because every time when you go into a corner You will be worrying whether your braking is good And whether your speed is good But this GD Sport S2 It allows you to go in to the corner confidently and uh, and it's quiet you can hear almost like only the engine noise you can hear the turbo uh, reelings noise and things like that but you don't really hear any screeching at all super nice so comparing uh, these UHP tires from GT to other top brands uh, UHP tires, I believe uh, this is so so much value for money. So in order to find out how much value for money the tire is, and uh, although it's not so commonly found in the market yet, but I've checked the retail price for the tires with uh, GT Sport, uh, GT Malaysia and uh, they told me my front tire 22540R18 is 547 ringgit per piece and uh, for the rear the FAT255-3518 is uh, 880 ringgit per piece so can you imagine total up uh, 4 tires is uh, I think less than 
3000 2009 perhaps plus all the um, <clears throat> balancing and alignment you do when you change new tires this is so so much value for money for UHP tires and uh, if you don't believe me because uh, you said okay I'm sponsored by GT Malaysia they give me free tires so I have to say nice things to for them but no uh, they only asked me to they give me four tires and they only asked me to take them and go for a ride and tell them how I feel about the tires and uh, if you still don't believe me how good these tires are you can uh, actually Google it and you go to your go to the uh, tirereviews.com and you'll find the, all the good reviews not just from the authors but also the users in fact I can show you some of the good scores from the tirereviews.com and I'll do a screenshot there conclusion for these tires they are quiet super comfy thanks to the uh, new compound technologies and uh, super grippy and also it's uh, very good in terms of uh, wet road condition performance and uh, this I'll be doing it uh, for a long term review so if anything happens to the tires like punctured or sidewall crack things like that hopefully it doesn't happen i'll also do a, a, an update to you all um, and also of course uh, driving in uh, wet road conditions hopefully because you know I, I didn't i don't like bring my gopro with me all the time so i cannot expect when uh, i'll be driving in a wet road condition but overall these are the the best tires I've ever experienced so far although I haven't tried those top brands UHP tires but this is so so much value for money and you guys should really try it out you will not regret for the price you pay and the the performance you get from these great tires okay still not having enough fun let's try some downhill cleared the road I suppose they haven't so okay I guess uh, that is all for my GD Sport S2 review and uh, I just want to say once again thank you so much to GD Sport uh, GT Malaysia 
for having me and giving me the opportunity to try out this uh, their top tier product which is the new USB tires GD Sport S2 and uh, uh, I will also leave the details uh, about uh, the GT Ambassador program the links uh, how to join in my description and if you also want to if you are doing car vlog and things like that and you also want to be like me to get a, the, the opportunity to try out uh, GT's uh, latest product just don't forget to join the GT Ambassador program so I'll be um, updating you guys on the tires the longevity of the tires and things like that so thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like share the video and also subscribe to my channel for my next car vlog so see you guys in the next video drive safe and bye